behalf of myself and Holger and all the Christians here, Lama Lam, it's a pleasure to have you for this gospel meeting. And we're very happy to have you with us. And we announce a meeting as well tomorrow night, Sunday night and next week, 7 o'clock, all in the Lord's will. All are welcome to come back. We're very happy to have you with us. So before we go any further, we shall read portions of the scriptures. First in the prophet Isaiah in the Old Testament, Isaiah chapter 53, please. Isaiah 53, and we'll read verse 1. Who hath believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Who hath believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Psalm 22nd, please. 22nd Psalm. Just a bit before. <clears throat> One verse. The whole chapter is about the suffering of the Lord on the cross. And when we read verse 16, For dogs have compassed me, the assembly of the wicked have enclosed me. They pierced my hands and my feet. They pierced my hands and my feet. John's Gospel, please. John's Gospel in the New Testament, chapter 10. <clears throat> John's Gospel, chapter 10. We read verse 17, the Lord Jesus says, Therefore doth my Father love me, because I lay down my life, that I might take it again. No man taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my Father. Verse 27, the Lord goes on and says this, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Second Corinthians, please, chapter 13, and then there will be one more reading. 2 Corinthians chapter 13, and we'll read verse 4. For though he was crucified through weakness, yet he lived by the power of God. For though he was crucified through weakness, yet he liveth by the power of God. And for a last reading, please, in the book of Hebrews, chapter 10. <laughs> Hebrews, chapter 10, please, for a last reading. Verse 31. Hebrews 10, verse 31. It is a fearful thing, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. It is a fearful thing to fall in, into the hands of the living God. That's all I wish to read out of the, the Bible, the Old Scriptures, the Word of God. And may God bless the public reading of His 
lovely book. And a few comments that we'll add on to these portions of scriptures that we read tonight together. Now we read together five portions of scriptures. And they all contain the words hands. The hands of our Lord Jesus Christ. I would like every one of us tonight to stop for a moment and to ponder for a few minutes at the start of this meeting about the hands of our Lord Jesus Christ. What we can receive through these lovely hands. Before I go any further, I'll read a portion of scriptures in Romans chapter 3 and verse 26. Uh, verse 23. And it, start, it reads like this. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Now, friend, in the meeting tonight, before we could come to appreciate what the Lord has done for us, we would have to understand this. All of us have sinned. That's what the Bible says. All of us, we have sinned. And it says that we come short of the glory of God. So before I go any further to speak about our, our Lord and His love for us sinners, please allow God to make it clear with every one of us that because of our sins, friend, we can't go to heaven as such. Our sins, they must be forgiven. They must. Heaven is a holy place. It's the house of an holy God. And friend, tonight the Bible is quite plain. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So allow God to put that seed in your heart. And don't forget that. Friend, we have a problem tonight, mankind. It is our sins. We can't make it to heaven with our sins. They need to be washed away. They need to be cleansed. They need to be taken away. And that's why we read together. And it's on my heart to speak about the Lord Jesus Christ and His work, His mighty work, the only one that could wash away our sins. Friend, any of you tonight in the meeting that tried doing the best you could to take care of the business of your sins? And how have you succeeded so far? Could not, right? It's stronger than you and I, isn't it? Let's be honest about that business, friend, tonight in the meeting. That question of sin, we cannot mend it by ourselves. We cannot fix that problem. How can our sins be washed away then? Friend, isn't it wonderful, the verse we read in Isaiah 53 together? Who have believed our report, the prophet says? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? You see, friend, tonight, you want your sins forgiven. If you want your sins to be washed away, it will have to come from outside. And it's not of this earth either. The arm of the Lord came down from heaven. His beloved son, the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the arm of the Lord. Who had believed our report, the prophet says. And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Friend, tonight, who of us haven't heard yet about the Lord Jesus Christ? The arm of God that came down from heaven. Lovely arm. Strength. Not like mine. The arm of the Lord, full of strength, so strong, but lovely hands, a lovely hand at the end of that arm. And friend, that's what I would like to speak tonight 
the hands of our Lord Jesus Christ. We read together that arm, the arm of God, so strong, so strong. Yet we read together in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, we read these words. 2 Corinthians, I'll read it. I can't quote it, but I'll read it. For though he was crucified in weakness, through weakness, it seemed that the Lord Jesus, the strong, the mighty one, it seems like when he was crucified, he was weak. No strength. 